Yaman. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> uh, the energy I'm telling you is super amazing. Was it? This is the biggest show ever in a year. I'm giving you the very best of roots, reggae and dance. Uh, yeah. And by director, I'm going to say, this artist, I'm going to talk about Mbasa. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, yeah, man. But welcome in the studio. We have Dula Wetu has given us three amazing tracks, you know. Uh, the last one in Aitwa Mayo uh, from his new album. Actually, we'll be speaking to that. But welcome, Dula. Karibu sana, mazafa ina ya. Asante sana. Asante sana. And I'm going to say, I'm going to confirm you, Director Wangu, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, and your man, I'm going to say, 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 I'm uh, mimi naitwa Dula wetu. Yeah, uh, ni mwimbaji wa wa, wa kileo yani. Lakini nafanya mziki wa reggae zaidi maana ndio uh, jena yangu, main genre. Yani naima miziki yote lakini this is what I can do best, reggae music. Yeah. yeah man, na amazing. na kweli Mombasa. Ni mzaliwa wa Pwani, Mombasa, nimeleo Mombasa. Nimefanya mziki Mombasa paka sasa hivi nimeuleta hapa na nikitoka hapa nataka dunia nzima tuendeleze tuzunguke dunia ina watu wengi sana wanataka kusikiliza mziki wa dula wetu ah sio yeah. kweli kweli najua Mr Director na wengi wame believe sasa hivi ndio yeah. <laughs> but dula wetu labda tu, tupeleke nyuma kidogo mziki wako ulianza wapi kwa sababu umesema mziki wako umeupiga ume pwani umezaliwa pwani labda mziki wako ulianza wapi um, Mziki nilianza zamani kidogo mwaka 2000 nilikuwa tayari ninje studio lakini back then nilikuwa na rap na okay. rap uh, um nilikodi wimbo wa kwanza mwaka 2001 nikajaribu ku push au kuenda vizuri um nikakaa tena mwaka 2002 nikarekodi tena wimbo mwingine nikajaribu ku push au kuenda vizuri pia then um, kidogo nilikuwa na nyimbo lakini nilikuwa na changamoto za quality na nini unajua Mombasa ilikuwa studio hakuna nyingi sasa hiyo no. so ilikuwa ni changamoto na ilikuwa sio rais kwangu nilikuwa nataka sana sound kiasi kama nikaanza kujifunza production je mm -hmm. naweza kuwa producer mm -hmm. labda ni producer mziki wangu mwenyewe labda naweza kupata ile sound ninayotaka so nikaanza kujifunza nikajipata sana kuwa producer kwa <laughs> okay. 2003 because yeah. ni producer sio mwimbaji tena ikanitoa kule nikajipata sirikodi sana nyimbo zangu bali na rekodi nyimbo za wasanii wengine. Okay. Uh, mwaka 2015 nikiwa chuo Kampala nasoma no. ndio nikagundua nika, nika uwezo kuimba reggae. Okay. Baada ya watu kuniambia mwanangu bora ukimba reggae una sound reggae sana kuliko hizi nyingine hizi usipambane nazo hizi. Hebu <laughs> jaribu reggae. Uh -huh. So tukapambana mwanangu yani tuingia studio nafikiri kwa tulimaliza class kwa saa sa 9 siku hiyo. Yeah kasema tuingie studio. Sasa tuingie studio tukaanza kurekodi. Yeah. Saa tisa mpaka saa kumi na mbili kwa tumepata chorus tu na beat tunacheza wenyewe tuki. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini nilipopata the first verse ya, ya wimbo uh, ika ikanipa moyo sana. Nikapata tulikuwa watu watatu nafikiri kwenye studio lakini tulipoanza kuimba verses na nini ile vibe tukashangaa tuko zaidi ya kumi watu wote wamekuja. Ah mwanangu huyu star wetu huyu Yaani hata jina la yenyewe dola wetu lilianzia huko yani. Kwa watu wanasema huyu ni wetu huyu. Huyu mwanangu eh huyu sasa kwa hivyo session zote sikio zika canceliwa watu wakasema huyu tutengeneze nyimbo zake. Kwa hivyo kuanzia siku hiyo pale akurekodiwa kitu kingine chote zaidi ya nyimbo zangu za kwanza ambazo tulirekodi nyimbo saba eh ya nane hatukuimalizia Kampala ilikuja kuimalizia Mombasa. I see yeah. you. Mm. Yeah, guy, yeah man guys, you know this is the best show where we give you amazing 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 stories and also amazing guests in the studio is Dula Wetu but we'll take a short commercial break kidogo tulipe bills but we'll be back with Dula Wetu atueleze mziki wake na Kiswahili chake. I'll see you. Y254 Imagine. Yes, and love to each and everyone who is watching us. That track is called Kiss Me, Darling. When I'm high and when I'm low. Yeah, man. By Dula Wetu. Happening at Y254 Channel. In a yard reggae is the hashtag to use. Yeah, man. Dula Wetu. Welcome to us here, Maze Karibu Tena. Welcome to us here, Ulukua Shapiga Ngoma Saba. Daniel Kampala. Daniel Kampala. So, some Ziku Kanzapo. Mziki wa reggae ndio yeah. kaanzia hapo. Mziki okay. mwingine ulianza huko miaka 2000. Okay. Lakini mziki wa reggae mwaka 2015 ndio ikaanza safari ya reggae sasa. Yeah. 
reggae music. Oh, okay, and how has it been? Because uh, uh, my DJ, I mean, chose your same old songs. Ambayo ni mziki ambayo kidogo kiangale umepigia kwa muda. Alafu, how has it been for you in music, in terms of reggae music? Because you played music, then kidogo. Uh, Wa, wa, ambao wana kutizama, ambao wana kupenda, ukapotea kidogo. Labi yeah. tuleze, how has it been for you in, in terms of music? Na hafu kidogo, kwa nini ukapotea labi? Yeah, I, I wanted to to find the sound. Okay. I I was already out there, yeah. na reggae tari, na chezwa. Yeah. Lakini nilikuwa na wagopa sana. Kwa sabu, naendelea kutoa zote ni singles tu hazina hazin hazini nufaishi sana yeah. na ilikuwa sijijua utaratibu wote ni kama yeah. niliruka hatu nyingi sana i just loved the music with passion i went to the studio did the songs and everything i did not think about the musical business part you know uh -huh. hiyo biashara hiyo eh, biashara yake ya muziki nitaifanyaje yeah. so ikabidi nikae chini kwanza najua okay. lama nilipata sana ah dula unapotea bwana sisi tunakubali tunakufollow tumesikiza same songs mwaka naenda mwaka rudi yeah. uleti nyimbo yeah, yeah. So nikatulia na nikaondoka na Kenya pia. Mm -hmm. Nikasafiri ni Kenya nikakaa mbali kabisa ni Kenya Tanzania. Okay. Nikakaa pale nikaanza kurekodi album zangu. Okay. Uh, nikarekodi album ya kwanza. Actually ilikuwa ni nyimbo nyingi zaidi ya 50 nikachagua nyimbo 24 kufanya two albums okay. ambayo ndio nikafanya album Mahaba yeah. na Reflections. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, talk, uh, let me let me tell my DJ man said uh, Reg mm -hmm. tulipata na dola wetu na nakwambia dola kuna mziki zaidi ya 100. Mm. Ambaye akianza kuangusha mziki atangusha mziki yani tuweza perform <laughs> na yeye hapa <laughs> for <next> <laughs> Yeah, he's so, so many talented. Songs, so he's many so songs. talented. He's very, very talented. Kenyans bado bado mjamsikia yani kwa kina. So uh, you did uh, two albums. I did two albums. Uh, two albums and one of the songs to me skia sai Mayo. Mayo. Mayo, which is uh, the latest album. Which uh, what was uh, the, the name is Reflections. In the the album that holds uh, yeah, yeah. Mayo. Yeah. Mayo is Mahaba. Mahaba, yeah, Mahaba. Yeah. My apologies for that, yeah. So right. uh, tell me about Mahaba. How did it... Kwanza zina mziki ni ngapi zi ambazo zikondani ya Mahaba? Mahaba has 12 songs. Yeah. Uh, these 12 songs are all beautiful. Okay. <laughs> all nice love songs. Okay. Yeah. So what uh, maybe inspired you to decide, you know, I'm doing this album called Mahaba, and was it in regards to love, love? Because kama mayo kisikiza vizuri, nikusu mapenzi. Yeah. And kipi ambacho kiliku Actually, yeah. when you talk about mayo, that's me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I had my own issues. And yeah. Ukisikize yo track, utasikia ni mtu ambaya naimba, siyo kuma ku, kuimba tu njimbo, ya mm -hmm. naimba kitu ambacho. Ya niliji express mwenye ya nilikuwa na undergo some situations lakini okay. nyimbo nyingi kwenye album yangu ni ni, ni, ni experiences za watu marafiki yeah. stories ambazo nakutana nazo mm. sometimes i get inspiration from movies and okay. from documentaries mimi yeah. ni mtu ambaye natazama sana na kusikiliza uh -huh. um yeah inasaidia sana ku create okay yeah so right now because Mahaba and your album ambayo ipo yeah. and labda kwa sababu hapo awali umezungumzia kuwa ulikuwa kidogo umeenda kusomea mziki kidogo kuwelewa in terms of business wise yeah. uh, maybe uh, at the moment do you feel uh, when ume drop your album do you feel it's reaching that particular level or maybe you're still working to another different I'm still level? working towards that yeah. uh, because I now I realize that I have the content and there are ways that I can use to to sell and market the music. Cha kwanza lichofanya kabla ya kwanza kuambia watu kuna albums, I made sure that all the albums are available on all digital platforms. Okay. Kila mahali ambapo wana fikiri waza kutuwa mziki, basi yeah. kiandika dula wetu, uh -huh. unaweza kumpata na wewe uka msikiliza dula wetu, uh -huh. uka nunua dula wetu, uh -huh. uka unajua. Uh -huh. So, iti kitu kwa hakipo mwanzo. Okay. Has songs, lakini hata mtu nambia mwana nguma hako ni mingia sijua pisijikuta, ni mingia YouTube, ni mepata moja, ni mingia wapi. So it was a big problem. Everybody's like, man, you, you are a good musician, but I don't know if you really know where you want to go with your music. Yeah. So right now, I am working towards launching my two albums. Actually, okay. I will launch the double albums, okay. not one album. Double albums. Double albums. Uh -huh. yeah. All two albums. Yeah. At once. At once. Yeah. Uh -huh. The names of the two albums? One is uh, Mahava, yeah. the other one is Reflections. Is the other is Reflections. So yeah. when exactly should we anticipate for that uh, launch? No, no, no. I don't have a date <laughs> for that. Uh -huh. um, 
I'm still working alongside some uh, labels and companies and yeah. independent people yeah. who are ready to support my music. Mm -hmm. We set a date, then we'll come up with the dates officially. Mm -hmm. These are our dates and locations. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he told me his dream, uh, one of his dreams, to kusatu zungumza to mezungumza nae kabla tufiki ya pali nambia yeye antaka kuja zaile KICC. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, that's major. That's, that's major. major because yeah. we feel every time international artist comes, uh, alafu anajaza yu KICC. Sisi kama wa Kenya, tuni vizuri na, na, uh, na imani kwa sababu wa sani wetu wakona yu you know? Potential. I'll see you. Yeah, kweli, kweli, kweli. So what exactly for the people who are watching you right now, because that is your dream which you're going towards for, uh, and for the artists who like your music. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, 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 learn to appreciate your music play your music kenyans just play the music there's a lot of music naweza kuja hapa nikasema dola wetu na music alafu kuna mtu mahali ato ato atojituma kutafuta dola wetu labda ana muziki wa aina gani ama huyo nyimbo moja akishaipata amiridhika so how do you support the artist msanii una support kwanza kwa ku sikiliza muziki wake ushia muziki wake ku request mziki wake kwenye radio tv kila mahali unapoenda yeah. talk about this artist wasanii ambao wanakuja huku wanakuja wanajaza KCC grounds msanii wa reggae sawa na mimi ame hit labda na wimbo mmoja ambao mimi ninao tayari na same songs ambao yeah. wanaweza kuwa hit dunia yeah. nzima kweli lakini utakuwaje hit unatakiwa uchezwe hapa mpaka u ile harufu unajua ile nyumba ya jirani kiungua una ule moshi pia wewe unaanza kutatiza <laughs> <laughs> yani ndio hivyo mziki unavovuka. Uh -huh. Lakini utapata watu wanataka tu msanii wa Kenya atoke tu awe star. Uh -huh. Wanataka wachezi tu mastar ambao hawajawatengeneza. Uh -huh. Hawajaji sukuma. Mtu ana request nyimbo ya msanii ambaye hata hajui atakutana naye mwaka gani. Lakini msanii wake wa nyumbani ambaye anajua he is good enough. A support buy the music. Yeah. Nunua mziki yeah. kama uwezi kununua u stream basi sikiliza tu na data yako sasa ingine hebu sema wacha ni support dola wetu. I see. I remember when people were selling CDs na cassettes it, kwa, it was the same problem. Maelewa? Maelewa? Watu hawajui kuwa when you buy that one piece mhm wewe tayari umechangia that's why you see artists wasema ah wasanii wa Kenya bana maskini maskini tu hawana pesa hawana underground ni wengi mm -hmm. wanatoka ni wachache hawapati support wanakata tamaa wanaacha oh, see. since 2015 paka sasa hivi ningekuwa ni mtu ambaye nataka kuacha tamaa na kata tamaa na reggae ningekuwa nimeacha kweli kitu ambacho kinanipeleka mbele is still i still believe in my dream yeah. na kweli ulivyosema mimi nataka kufeel KCC grounds mm -hmm. i cannot do that without the Kenyans yeah Kenyans Please let's be real. Mnasema dola wetu mnampenda. Lakini hau request wimbo wake, hauongelee dola wetu. Wewe unataka ukishakuwa nao kwenye simu yako ni yako. Share it. Eh? You are online. Post about dola. Chukua picha yangu, post. Si kila siku post mchumba wako. Sasa hivi una post dola wetu. Kwa nini una post wasanii wa mbali kabisa? Tena unasema mimi nataka niwe kama huyu. Utakuwaje kama yeye? Kweli kweli. We need to appreciate him. Eh, tuanzeni sisi wenyewe uzalendo wa mziki wetu tupende. Alafu dula wetu we fill up that cash grounds. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Na tukimalizia because uh, 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 my time kidogo pia inatupeleka. Yeah, yeah. uh, Umeto pia kuna mziki wako ambao unazungumzia Mr. Politician briefly yeah. kwa sababu tuna run 2022 election. <laughs> yeah, maybe what exactly can you tell Kenyans who are watching you in regards to your music because your music Mr. Politician talks a lot. Yeah, briefly. maybe uh, Mr. Politician ongelee mwana siasa. Yeah. Nataka tu wa Kenya tuelewe kitu kimoja. Politician hatoi msaada anapokuwa ameshachaguliwa kwenye kiti sio anatoa msaada bali yuko kazini. Aha. Asi asi treat watu kama vile anawasaidia, yani kuwa mimi niko hapa ni shirika la msaada. Hapana. Um, makosa mengi na shida nyingi ambazo tunaziacha zitaathiri sisi tuliopo lakini mbali na kuathiri sisi tuliopo itaathiri watoto wetu na vizetu, vizazi vinavyokuja okay. kama wewe politician unaona utahudumia miaka yako mitano utaondoka it's okay but what will happen ukiondoka 5 years ile rozo zoziacha ndio utakazozikanyaga 
zile hospital mbovu zilizoacha ndio utakasikanyaga kila kitu utakachoweka kibovu ndio utakachokutana nacho it will never change amazing amazing yeah. na watu tunaweza kupata wapi kwa social media kwa sababu lazima tuzungumze nawe tununue mziki wako kwa ufupi yeah. naweza kupata wapi okay mimi jina langu ni dula wetu So simply ukiwa online unaandika tu atdula wetu utanipata Twitter atdula wetu Instagram atdula wetu yani D U L A dula ya kawaida tu wetu wetu ya wetu yani ours dula wetu unanipata popote Instagram Twitter uh, Facebook kila mahali hata ukitafuta mziki wangu andika tu dula wetu mm-hmm. ukishindwa kabisa wewe ingia tu ni search ndiga unaenda google pale ni search tu dola wetu utanipata kila mahali kweli yeah. asante sana kwa kutupa muda wako asante kwa kuja katika show bado kubwa this is in a yard reggae giving you the very best of roots reggae and dance but nataka kusoma one of the comments uh, from twitter anasema mzee anaitwa frank coaches anasema ish didn't know about dola but now i do straight forward to his youtube au sio ameshingia kwenye youtube au sio yeah man thank you so much mzee range yeah. run it yeah man run it so hard run it me dj <laughs>